Hello, this is Dan Baines at Lebanon Circle Magic and thank you for purchasing Ghost in the Machine 3. This is a quick unboxing and quick start guide to get you up and running as quickly as possible with Ghost in the Machine 3. So first of all, let's open the box and see what we have inside. Okay, as you can see, we have the Ghost in the Th Machine 3 module here. We have a SD card converter, so um, the device actually takes a micro SD card so if you don't have a micro SD card reader you can just pop it into this converter and it will be read in a standard SD card reader. We also have the remote control fob which is here and as you can see it has been fitted with an extended cable so this button can be operated at a greater distance from the actual transmitter. This means you can pop this into your pocket or uh, around your ankle and you can use this as a toe switch or you can just use it as you know, inside your jacket or inside your lapel on your jacket and operate the device that way. Um, when you're going to use this switch and you're going to put this in your pocket just simply slide the button cover over and this will prevent the device being triggered accidentally. The keyring fob, you can also remove that if you want. It does create additional noise as it jangles around in your pocket, but I've left them on there just in case you want them. So we'll pop that to one side. Here we have a magnet with a skull on. Now, Ghost in the Machine 3 actually fits to magnetic surfaces, so you could stick this under a table or under a chair, anything that has a magnetic surface. If you're not using it, you can simply put this in place. It has no other purpose than being a bit of gothic bling to make it look good, okay? So you can simply take that off and pop it to one side if you're not using it. So if we have a look at the device itself, we have the magnet and we have the speaker here. If we flip it over this way, we have the micro SD card slot here and the card can be removed just by simply pressing it and taking the card out. Okay, just pop that back in. On the side we have the on and off switch, the on position being denoted by the small mark there. Okay, so you can just push it up and there we go, it makes a slight beep sound and we're now ready to go. If we turn the device over, we can see the battery compartment here. This simply lifts off, it fits nice and snugly Okay, and you will need three AAA batteries. Pop the battery cover back on. Now this bit here is actually a fiber optic cable. So this is for use when you have your Ghost in the Machine 3 module maybe hidden in a box or out of sight. You can thread this cable out of a small recess in the box and when you press a file and it plays, the end will glow red. So from a distance, as a performer, you can see that the actual module is playing and working. So if it doesn't, you can press the play button again and hopefully you'll get a red glow in the end, which will confirm the Ghost in the Machine 3 device is playing your file. OK, so in normal daylight situations, this isn't going to glow particularly brightly. It's intended for darker situations, which as bizarre performers, we primarily perform in darker type of venues so this could be very useful. If you don't want to use it you can simply fix it to the side with an elastic band or if you're not going to use it at all you can simply cut it off. Um, but it's there as an additional aid for you as a performer to get the visual confirmation that the device is working from a distance. Okay, what we're going to do is now we're going to actually show you how to play the files. So our Ghost in the Machine device has been turned on, okay, and we are ready to go. Now the first thing you need to know about how Ghost in the Machine 3 operates is that it employs a two button press operation, okay? One button, one button press to cue the file, i.e. to make it ready or to arm the file, and the second press to actually play the file. Now between cueing and pressing play again, there should be like a one second delay there. Okay, so you arm it, then you play it. This is to prevent the performer from accidentally pressing the button when it's in his pocket or on his cuff or in his, oops, particularly when using a toe switch. So you press it, 
wait one second, press again, and the file will play. If you press it once by accident, nothing's going to happen. After two seconds, it will just cycle back and it will wait and it will go back to the queuing phase. Okay, so this is just a measure just to pr protect you as a performer to not actually misfire the sounds when you don't need them. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this button, the remote button. Okay, we're going to cover the remote fob up like this. We're going to pop it to one side and the ghost in the machine module is on. So what we're going to do is you'll see me press it twice. It'll be once, then a break and then play again. Welcome to Ghost in the Machine 3. There we go. So we get the welcome message from the device. And to play the next file, it's simply the same again. Press once to queue, then press again to play. One. And that's it. If we have a look at the fiber optic cable here, if I hold it, you should be able to see it um, glow. Two. Three. Four. And so on. Now, on the factory default file, which you have on your SD card, this is purely for me to test it in the studio when I make them, okay? I actually make every single one of these individually. They're not mass produced in China. I solder and install everything and 3D print all of the boxes, okay? So they're all tested and handmade in the studio here to ensure they work prior to shipping. Now, I go over more of the functions of Ghost in the Machine 3 in the provided documentation. But for now, this will get you going what we're going to do is now, we're actually going to go, we're going to take the SD card out and we're going to go away and we are going to now load on the sound files from either any of the Seance tools that I've provided for you or I'll show you how to get your own sound files on there for a performance.